So I'm currently in drawing 1B, which is a continuation from our tutorial based upon how to import break lines. But now we're going to create an outer boundary from a polyline. So first, go ahead and go to your Home tab, then go to your Layers, scroll up until you get to underscore existing boundary, go ahead and thaw that boundary, and what you'll see is we have this blue outer polyline that surrounds our entire site. Now this blue polyline represents the extents of the site. The polyline was imported with the original surface contours. But go ahead and go into your tool space and under Prospector, I want you to go under Surfaces, click the little plus icon, click it again underneath the existing grade, go to your Surface Definition Collection, expand that out. Next, I want you to go to Boundaries, right click on Boundaries and click Add. We'll get our little dialog box right here for Add Boundaries. Next, I want you to type in EG space dash outer. We're going to keep our boundary type as outer. Clear out this checkbox for non-destructive break line, because we don't want to do that in this instance. And keep the default mid-ordinate distance of 1. Click OK. Next, it's going to ask you to select that blue polyline. Go ahead and zoom in to an area right here. And when we zoom out, you can see that this blue outer boundary has clipped out a lot of the other information that was there before. Next, I want you to hide this blue polyline. We go back under Home, go to our Layers panel, scroll up until we get to underscore existing grade dash boundary again. Go ahead and click the freeze icon and now that blue polyline will disappear. Next, go ahead and select your surface. Right click on the surface. Select surface properties. And now under the information tab, I want you to change the surface style to contours 5 foot and 25 foot background. Click OK. And now you can kind of see a ghosted in surface right here where contours are displayed as muted colors at broad intervals. This display allows major surface features to remain visible while you focus on other aspects of the site design. 